Darren Murray has signed for Glen Thorne. Just get your initial thoughts on that one. Well, I've, I've thought even before we came in that one of the areas that need, they need to improve was that uh, we needed a presence up front. We needed somebody, as I said, that physical presence. A good respect the goals can hold the ball up, link the play, bring all players into the game as well as, well as scoring goals. And he certainly do that. And I expect him. This, his, his ability has never been in question, and I, I expect him to get 20 plus goals a season with their date. And I also think he's the type of player that the three stakers we have at the minute need to play off. You know, McDade, Allen and, uh, and Young O'Neill. And he's the type of player that they need and I have no doubt he'll be a, a good sign for us. So you worked with him at Portadown previously and is it the sort of, not target man, but you see him more as the focal point of the forward line in a sense? Yeah, as I said, we haven't got that. And I think all, all team needs that. You need a focal point of attack. And he certainly gives us that, and he certainly is up there one of the top strikers in the league. There's absolutely no question about that. When he was, when he was with me at Portdown, I, I hadn't any, hadn't any problems with him. Uh, I mean, he went to Cliftonville for, what, £30,000, so there's no question as a builder. As you say, he's always been good to work with with you, and that sort of, you didn't have to think twice when the call came from yourself? No, absolutely not. You know, as I said, what happens at all clubs is no concern of mine. Uh, as I said, this is a clean slate for him. He's he's what he's 27 years of age now, so he's now starting to come into his best years, which are usually about you no know, 28 to 33. And I've no doubt he'll be a big asset to Glentoran going forward. And as you were saying previously, we have Robbie McDade, who's who's far, and we've got Curtis Allen, his reputation goes without saying, and young Paul O'Neill. Do you really see him fitting in there amongst those three? Yeah, there's no doubt, no question about that. I mean, the first thing it does is it, it creates uh, competition for places, which is what you want. So no one can sit and rest on their laurels. And as I said, uh, that's f four strikers we have there now. So it's it's up to them who's producing a good guess in the team. I mean, I have no favourites. That's that's the way it has to be. Okay, and it's been a while since I last spoke to you. Um, how do you reflect on the season up until this point? Well, I think there's been a, a massive improvement in the performances from what there was previous. I think the signings we have made, uh, you know, John Hearn, Connor Pepper, Joe Crow, uh, Nye Darren Murray and Young Gallagher have uh, made a massive difference to the team. I think we've been playing some really, really good football. There's nobody really has really turned us over, but it's certainly bad day down at Dungannon. Uh, I think in the rest of the matches, if you look at the last two matches against uh, Institute, on Crusaders, uh, we really played well and we probably should have got more out of them. Uh, we won three times against Institute and they scored three really t top, top, top draw, draw goals, which you really can't do nothing about, about. I think at time and matches, individual errors has cost us and you need the break sometimes, which I don't think we're getting. Um, the Christmas period is obviously a very busy period and the aim for the start of the season has always been to, to get into the top six and consolidate that position. Is that still very much the aim? Yeah, well, there's still, there's still a lot of football to, to play. I mean, the main thing was when I came in was that I said what I would do would be I would sign a better quality of player than what they had, and I think I've done that. I don't think anyone can question that, right? And lay the foundations for, for Smith and Lieber taking over. And I think I've done that. Definitely a big improvement in the quality of players and the quality of football than before I came in. And also said that I'd give young players an opportunity and I've done that as well. Young O'Neill, Young McCarthy and, and Gallagher. And as I said, that, that's it's obviously my objective to say was to lay the foundations. So when they're coming after me then that they've got something to work on because I didn't think I had too much before I came in. I mean, as you said, the transfer window's open in January and uh, we're still looking to bring in a couple more players if I can do that. Obviously, the finances at the club, but the minute's not the best. So, as again, it's just trying to hunt out the right players and get in there first before you know the rest of the teams get in. Because um, being realistic, Lentorn can't compete with them, you know. Without going into detail, there's other areas that we're looking to looking to improve on, and that's and that's what we're doing. Plus, the old adage is that the players have signed are all young. I mean, Gallagher's 19; he's only a young lad learning the game. He's still got a long, a long way to go yet. So with all young players, you've, you've got to handle them with care. You know, you've got to put them in. They'll come in at the start and do initially well, and then they'll have a dip. So you've got to protect them. If you keep continue to play them all the time, then they'll end, they'll end up falling by the wayside. So I mean, he's, he's, got a, he's got good ability, he's a chance to be a top player, but he needs to le learn, listen to the right people to, to progress. 
Joe Crow's only 20, the other two lads are 24 and Maurice says 27, so they're all good age with plenty, plenty of years ahead of them.